Well, hello. I've got a new lady in the household. This is Anne. She was called this because uh, I was chatting to Zoe, 24 karat crochet, when I was talking about her and we said we'd have to give her a name. And Zoe came up with Anne because of Anne Malin, you know, off with her head. <laughs> Anyway, I was very lucky uh, in the fact that I've been trying to pick up a plus-sized um, dummy, well, Taylor's dummy, for a long time. Um, but they were all sort of out of my price range, really. And um, I'd asked a few times on these free cycle places and that, and asked a few friends. Nobody had one going cheap. And then a lady on my local site said she had one in her garage that she didn't want. Now, poor little Anne is a little bit rusty in parts, but we won't hold that against her. So, um, as with most mannequins, even though they're plus size, they never have any boobage. So she is now wearing, <laughs> to excuse me going like that with her, she's now wearing one of my bras, whoops, if you can see it underneath, <laughs> stuffed with black stockings and um, paper tissues. So... She's now got a bit of boobage, <laughs> which helps to display, you know, my things a little bit better. Well, this was going on to Etsy. Um, it's um, a crochet pattern that I've done quite a few times before. Um, it's, ooh, <laughs> not with it today. It's that one. It's, uh, I think I've explained it to you once before that it's from a magazine called Crochet World from June 2013 but in actual fact you can buy it as a single leaflet now from Annie's if you look online at Annie's um, it's called Gulf Coast Shrug for some reason I wanted to call it South Bay anyway it's Gulf Crush, Coast Shrug and I made this one in some um, Fildar 100% cotton that I picked up from uh, eBay I used to sell Fildar many, many years ago and they, they cut, you know, their yarn is particularly good. In fact, I've still got a couple of things upstairs, I think, made from the original Fildar when I bought it when I had the shop. Um, so I was really pleased to pick this up on, um, on eBay. You know, you always have to pay a wee bit more on eBay to pick something up that you like, but um, it's 100% cotton, so I love it. And it's just got a little green it's sort of like a imitation mother of pearly and what i like about Anne is the fact that she's very light she's very transportable so i'll be able to carry her down the garden without giving myself a hernia and oops i can turn around to do back views which is very nice back views yeah i mean not that i'm going to usurp paris she will be used because she does look very pretty Paris does um, but this I've ordered this one actually a very cheap stretchy bodycon dress you know what I mean those that the lasses wear where they half wear them you know they're up the top of their knickers you know <laughs> but they will just come nice because it will just cover up this poor little girl who's been sitting in the garage for a long time so it'll just cover up in bits and pieces and make her look a bit decent. At the moment she's wearing one of my stretchy t-shirts but soon to be. I mean I must admit I've had some really good tips on you know um, customising mannequins to fit because they're always they never have the busts in the right place these mannequins or tailors dummies and they're never quite padded enough on the hips and um, one lady had really done one by stitching dishcloths you know, to make a body form shape, making dishcloths and putting padding on the hips and things like that. Um, but I just, you know, compromised by putting one of my very pretty bras, but two small bras underneath her. Uh, she could really do with like a few hips and <laughs> a bit of the hips, but um, I'm sure when she wears her body dress when it arrives, she'll look nice. Um, well, uh, the blue, cardigan that I've sent uh, it hasn't arrived yet I got an order for it and I thought I was going to have to turn it down because I are notorious for when you come to look for the yarn the second time it's not there 
Anyway, I went rummaging in, the, as Terry Tinsel calls it, the room of shame. <laughs> you know, the I call it the stash room where you have to tie a string around your waist to find your way back out again. And I managed to find that I had I had that packet left over, which I knew wouldn't be enough to make the cardigan. And I found that I had another pack. Now this is where my hoarding <laughs> comes in useful, you see. This is because I so notorious for not doing um, yarn the second time you come to look around. They're not there. So if you don't buy it when you see it kind of thing, you're stuck, you know. So that's my excuse. <laughs> But I have been very, very good um, in not buying any yarn. Some yarn did arrive, which I'll probably show you maybe tomorrow because good news. All being well, all being well, fingers crossed. Sue's on her way tomorrow, so um, I want to show the new yarn to Sue, so she'll be having a new one and a half over it. Um, what am I doing? I'm pleased to report that I'm actually on to the last sleeve. It's falling on the floor, but... I'm on the last sleeve. This is one that I've finished. I've got one more sleeve to do on my niece's cardigan. She's only waited three years for it, bless her. <laughs> but I just went off the pattern I was using. This is a vintage pattern and I'm far better with patterns that I like doing. You see, I love doing this pattern so I can do it quite quickly because, you know, it's one that I can not have to concentrate on too much and I can go on when I'm watching the TV. I don't like patterns where I have to think about it, I have to stare at it, so I can't do anything else but crochet. Um, I'm doing another one which I'll probably show you tomorrow when it's all finished off. In this, this is cotton again, it's another um, short sleeve cardigan like that, but a different stitch. As you can see, it's a granny stitch. And anyway, I'll show you that one hopefully when it's completed tomorrow. And it's got its buttons on it. Well, not much has been happening in the way of um, Life really since I spoke to you last, I don't think. It's all been quite uh, normal, which is rare for me. Uh, no Gigi today because it's Sunday, I'll have him tomorrow. And uh, Buster's booked in on Thursday for his Whirlpooth, Whirlpool, Whirlpool bath and hydropath, whatever it is. She comes, she's, uh, comes to the door, you know, dial a dog wash, I think she's called. She's very nice, very good with the dogs. And uh, Gigi, little Gigi will be having his toenails clipped as well. Sorry, I'm going to have to drink. It's another of my very dry mouth days. I'm diabetic and I don't know whether that's anything to do with it. But uh, but I also think that uh, my sore throat, it's not a sore throat actually, it's just a froggy throat. I'm just hoping, hoping that my, I had throat nodules a while back. I had to have them all lasered off, so I'm just hoping they're not coming back again. Oh, I don't think I've got a lot to tell you, really. Hopefully tomorrow will be a different story, so I'll stand by for a bit more. <laughs> I don't feel very interesting today. <laughs> Some days I feel like, oh, I've got such a lot to tell you, such a lot. And other days I don't. I'm sure I must have had something to tell you, but I can't actually remember. I've not fallen over this week. <laughs> I've had a couple of near dooms, but I've not actually fallen over this week. Um, still trying to diet. In fact, life or fate must be conspiring because I was sort of going to go to Slimmer's World and then poor my neighbour next door, she had to go to hospital on the Thursday and she had a bit of news that upset her, so she decided she wasn't going to go. And then um, this next coming Thursday, I've got to go to the dentist, so I can't go then. <coughs> anyway, before, because I hadn't started, I went to the shops. Uh, it's me, I'm so froggy. And I decided I'd treat myself to a little ice cream. Those little Tom and Jerry things, what they call No, Ben and Jerry, not Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Anyway, I came back home and uh, the dogs were mithering me and that I made them the tea and everything. And um, I'd looked in the bag, I had two bags of shopping, looked in the bag, put the things in the fridge and the freezer that were to go in the fridge and freezer. I looked in the other bag and thought, oh, it's Tim's, I'll put them away later. And then ages afterwards, I uh, thought I'll put the tins away. 
And there was me Ben and Jerry's all melted and slushed into the bottom of my bag. <laughs> so I thought, see, fate was saying to me, you cannot have the ice cream. <laughs> so instead of my cookies and cream ice cream, I didn't get it. But yesterday, anyway, I was naughty because I'd, I'd already ordered before I decided to go. A friend of mine, she makes the lovely cupcakes, gorgeous cupcakes. And every now and again, she does like a promotion where she, you know, reduces the price of her cupcakes if you order so many. And I always share them with my neighbours, so I don't eat them all. And um, I'd forgotten I'd already ordered these cupcakes. So this is well really I hadn't started my diet because it would have been a failure before I'd even started, wouldn't it? Anyway, it won't. This, this Thursday when I go to the diet because I decided that it was a long time to wait you know to July to see the dietitian. I thought I'll go to Slimmer's World in between so I can't give you any updates because I haven't started and it won't be this week it'll be next week week after ah. anyway today the sun is actually shining for once it hasn't been all morning it's been quite cold so I need to get on with my crochet to finish off that top and I'm going to start a sneezing fit. My allergies are out in full blown again. So I think I'll go before I start sneezing. <laughs> so bye.